Wake up, everybody. We got Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel has a new ban list. Uh, so, a couple things I want to see with this. I'm a little bit spoiled, but I want to talk a little bit about what I want here and what I think is important. Um, broadly speaking, you know, obviously, Snake Eye needs a little bit of a hit. Yubel needs a little bit of a hit. Snake Eye has been hit a lot, though, so it's not as pertinent as it used to be. It's more of an engine now than anything. Yubel's a bit of a pain in the butt. I, you know, Voiceless Voice isn't D tier 1 meta threat compared to those other two, so I don't know what you could hit there that would make it, you know, that much pertinent hit. Um, but we are also, uh, you know, getting some interesting stuff later on. Later today, we're going to be recording the Master Duel Roundtable, because it'll be out tomorrow at 3 p.m. like normal. Um, you guys, we're going to have a larger discussion. If you want to partake in that, we record every Wednesday at like 9-ish Eastern Standard Time in, our, in the in the High Media TV Discord, link down below. But on to, uh, on to the uh, panels itself. So, newly forbidden, we have Jogan the Spiritualist. I've seen this in a lot of stun decks recently, and I think... I forget which deck is able to get this onto field relatively quickly. Uh, Nightmare Corruptor Ebly. Nightmare Corruptor Ebly is uh, this bitch. Um, I used her myself. I liked actually using her quite a lot in um, uh, Gishiki Sprite. It basically, you know, them getting rid of Ebly, I think, is a good thing, broadly speaking, because it, you know, it's just another puppet lock that is, you know, like, making it so your opponent cannot do a single solitary thing on their turn is just a little too broken. Uh, Primeval Planet Pellerino. Interesting. They they really went and banned Pellerino. The... They just will not let Tear Element die, and it's probably for, and you know, that's probably fine. Newly limited, Fossa, Dino, Dino, Palkito. So, like, just like with, um, what's his name, um, with, uh, uh, Jogan, uh, this is one of those, like, pain in the butt stun cards. This is, like, if anything, there was a hit to stun. In fact, I found out from Chara in our private group chat, uh, where, um, the RSVP chat for the round table that apparently they had to lock down the stun. Um, channel on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Discord for about six hours. It was crazy. Uh, Poplar to one. This tracks. Uh, Poplar's been hit multiple times in the TCG and the OCG. Um, Poplar to one makes it so you know, having that and having it in hand kind of limits what you can do. Doesn't make Snake Eyes any less explosive. Semi limited Dark Beckoning Beast uh, in Phantom of Yu Bell. Um, I think that's fine. Um, you know, I probably would have rather those be limited if I'm being being so real, because it seems like there's some contention, like some debate. Some people play three of each, some people play two of each, but you know, Phantom of You Bell kind of, you know, it's it's you know, I think Phantom of You Bell is one of those cards that unless it's at one or zero, I, like it can it can it, it can still be played at one in a non U Bell deck. I think this, you know, the limiting of these cards, anything short of a ban, makes the new U Bell play style. Brazilian tone. Uh, also, Gold Sark to two. Um, I think this is good. So much of the Gold Sark engine revolves around getting to this quickly. There's lots of ways to get to it and ways around it, but like similar to how kind of like the Gravekeepers revolve around Necro Valley, it's a defend the castle situation, but Gold Sark's a little more resilient, plus it's a little easier to get access to it more frequently. So um, that sucks a little bit, but I don't think that is going to be everything needed. Um, also, opening of the Spirit Gate, same kind of thing with Dark Backing Beast, Phantom of Ubel. Um This turn, like, sp opening of the Spirit Gates, you know, here just, you know, makes the deck, it makes Ubel a 37-card deck because you're only searching like things like Dark Backing Beast, and that turns your 37-card deck into a 38-card deck. Like, it's, it's you know, it's just, like, limiting the, the, the percentage that your searchers are going to show up. Uh, Water Enchantress of the Temple is no longer limited. That makes sense. The Adventure Engine is not what it used to be. It's very much, you know, normal summons are important. And also the, um, you know, the, the Adventure Engine just is not, you know, the, the force that it used to be. Um, it's, it's, there are, there are so many more engines now that, like, you know, it, you can, you can run it for sure in a deck that can, that benefits from having a special summonable level seven on field and like a cash Tira or something. But other than that, I don't, you know, really see that much. Uh, 
Uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus. Interesting. They brought that back to three. That is going to suck. I hate the Thunder Dragon Colossus, but God knows that Thunder Dragon uh, fans since 2019 have been fiending. So happy for them. Change of Heart. That doesn't really matter that much. You know, Change of Heart really isn't that much of a. Um, you know, it's not that much of like a. It, I mean, it's just steal a monster. You know, that like, is that, you know, valuable? Sure. But like, you know, we're in a very much fast, more fast paced metagame now. And, you know, going second, sure. I'm sure it's, it's, it's perfectly fine. But, you know, I, I, that change of heart is not like, you know, the broken card it used to be. Chaos face, that's fine. Chaos decks are not, you know, you know, since they got, first of all, they, you know, banned a lot of, like, some of the more powerful end board cards for Dragon Link, as well as, you know, some other um, tenders. I think it, that's fine to come back, you know. God knows Dragon Link could use the help. Uh, and Eradicator Epidemic Virus. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I hate Labyrinth with the... Uh, uh, I, 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 I don't like Labyrinth. I don't like Trap Decks, and I don't... Uh, I, I, I don't know how to do it. Yep, that is the uh, coverage of the new Forbidden and Limited lists. Um, Poggers. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.